Hey guys, welcome to module one, video number two. In this part of the Etsy course, we're gonna be talking about digital products that you could sell on Etsy. So, what is a digital good? So let's talk about that. So digital goods are products or services that are shipped electronically to the customer through an email of, or some sort of download. So when buying any type of digital goods, it will be available to download once the payment is confirmed within a few minutes. So it's important to realize that when you're selling digital goods, obviously the customer is not going to get anything tangible through the mail. Um, they will get an instant download that will be available once the payment clears up. Now, in some occasions, you might have to email the file or use some sort of storage file um, system like Google Dropbox for the customer to get access to the file, either because the file was too large to put on Etsy or because you did a custom order. So those type of files are not available when the payment clears up because you are creating the file for the customer. So just keep that in mind. Now let's talk about what types of digital goods can be sold on Etsy. So here is a list of the most common digital goods that are sold on Etsy every single day. Photography is a big one. So if you are a photographer and you have beautiful photos that you take, you can actually make money on Etsy and sell your artwork. Um, patterns is another big one. Stickers is a huge one. So if you know how to make stickers, you can sell stickers on Etsy. Coloring pages, birthday invites, um, any type of wedding invite or wedding signs. Fonts is another huge one. If you are talented and know how to create fonts, I highly recommend selling them. Clip art because Etsy, you know, you sell clip arts, but other people buy them to create beautiful invites or beautiful signs with them or other things with them, right? So clip art is a huge one. Iron on transfers. Artwork is another big one. And digital planners. Now the list goes on and on and on. You could sell ebooks. Um, there's so many other things that you could sell, stationary items. But these are the ones that I normally see that are the most successful on Etsy. Now, let's talk about what tools can you use to create digital goods. Now, as long as the product or service are, are handmade, keep in mind you could sell on Etsy. And there are so many great tools available when it comes to creating any type of project that you need. And these are my top tools that I currently recommend um, when creating digital products. Um, Adobe Photoshop is, I absolutely recommend Photoshop. It's, it does have a learning curve, but if you're willing to learn how to use it, it is a remarkable tool. It will help you unleash your creative side and to be honest, you could do pretty much any type of project with it, which is the nice thing about it. Canva is my second favorite platform. You could create beautiful designs with the drag, drag and drop feature that they have. And you don't need no experience to use Canva, which is really nice. And the best part is free to use. So you can beat that. PicMonkey is a photo editing and graphic design software. And it's also very user-friendly. Adobe Illustrator um, is another great choice developed by Adobe. Now, Adobe Illustrator is a vector graphics editor. And it also has like a learning curve, but it is a great tool if you learn how to use it the correct way. Um, Adobe Ab Acrobat Reader DC. So if you plan to create any sort of like edible PDF file, then this is the best tool for you. There are many shops on Etsy that sell like do-it-yourself downloads. And the convenience of doing an edible file is that even though you'll have to do some upfront work, once, the up, once you upload the file on Etsy, you can sell, um, you will be able to sell unlimited copies and you will never have to do any more work on that particular listing, which is making passive income, which is one of my favorite things to do. Pixlr um, is the robust like browser photo editor. It's a great, it's great for like editing images. Um, no download is required and it's 100% free. 
um, and Excel. Excel is not just like for making tables. You can use Excel to create planners, to create worksheets, checklists, and many other products that you could start selling on Etsy. So these are my favorite tools when creating digital downloads. But keep in mind, there are tons of softwares and online programs that you could use. You don't necessarily have to use the ones that I'm recommending. Now let's do a recap of module one. What I want you to do next is on a piece of notebook that you're gonna be using through the whole entire course is decide which type of digital products or services do you want to sell on Etsy? So do you want to start a digital planner store? Do you want to start a sticker store? Do you want to start a party store? What type of digital products do you want to sell? And once you decide what type of products you want to sell, get familiarized with the tools you'll be using for your products or services. So if you're going to be selling stickers, what kind of tools do you need to create stickers? Or if you're going to be doing wedding party, what type of um, tools do you need to create like wedding invites and to create, let's say, wedding signs, etc. So start doing that now. And in every single module, you'll have like a, a recap and you'll have like an actual tip that you have to take. And this is going to help you to kind of lay out the foundation of your Etsy store. So I'll see you on the next video.